Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Master of the Universe, modern posing retro play man at arms, heroic master of weapons. As you can see, comes in the same, almost the same style backing as the old Master of the Universe figures. Same logo and everything. Uh, you also, as you can see, get a mini comic inside, and here, new for 20 new for 2020 with the mattel logo on the bottom and i'm sorry about the birds squawking in the background i got my window open it's a nice fall day or almost fall day so anyway on the back now my wife said they actually had the entire set at my local walmart today she asked me which one i wanted obviously i wasn't going to say all of them that would have been a little bit too expensive uh, so i went with mad at arms uh, mainly because as you can see, he comes with the mustache sculpted in. <laughs> the original Man at Arms did not have the mustache. Uh, that came along from the Filmation cartoon. But anyway, on the back, modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe action figures, Masters of the Universe Origins gives you the power to pose Eternia's greatest warriors as retro style figures or in new action-packed battle positions. For the heroic warriors, you have He-Man, you have Tila, you have Men-at-Arms. And for the evil warriors, you have Skeletor, Evil-Lin, and Beast-Man. And of course, there's the action features on the side. Fit mace into hand, twist into powerful battle position. So let's go ahead and open up the package and take a look at Duncan, the Man-at-Arms. He did come with a little mini comic, Masters of the Universe Beast Barrage. There's He-Man on the front, Beast Man there. This probably should have came with Beast Man instead of with Man at Arms, but it is what it is. And it's just a little mini comic. Got a Snake Mountain there. You got Beast Man, Evil In, and Skeletor. You got Prince Adam and Tila. There's the evil warriors there. Prince Adam, by the power of Grayskull. I have the power. And the only shot you get of Man at Arms is right there at the ending. So why this came with Man at Arms, I have no clue, but it is what it is. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to collect all these mini-comics because I am not going to get He-Man or Skeletor. Because as I said in the Battle Cat video, I've already got the vintage style He-Man and Skeletor that came out just a couple years ago. So I don't see a point in getting a brand new He-Man and Skeletor for my collection. Uh, one figure per... Uh, Per character is just fine by me. And here we have Man at Arms. As you can see, I have not taken his uh, arm, armor out of the package. Comes in just a little package like this. Uh, looks like it. the strap is folded up in there. But one thing I wanted to point out was I want to say that the original Man at Arms... His armor here was, I could have sworn it was a solid or plastic. Uh, this, however, feels more rubbery, softer. Uh, I could be wrong, but I want to say it was a lot harder, a lot more solid. 
Uh, but this is very a very soft, rubbery plastic. So I'm not sure about it. Um, I don't know if I like it or not. And of course, as I said, he does come with the mustache sculpted in, something we did not get in the ori original toy line. And as Pixel Dan pointed out in his video, he does have the hair painted in. In the original toy line, it was painted either the same color as the helmet or the green of his shirt. And I like that. I like the attention to detail with this. And he doesn't... If you guys watch John's video on Man at Arms on the Retro John channel, uh, for good... Uh, for those of you who don't know, John used to uh, co-host Comageddon with me uh, in the very beginning for a couple of years, uh, and then he started his own channel. Uh, he talked about how Duncan had a very wobbly head, and I think it was just his because mine's not that bad. It's it's pretty tight, and it just popped off. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's pretty tight. It's you know not really too wobbly. And put it down, guard his face. In fact, let's go ahead and put him into vintage vintage look real quick, just like that, and compare him to the. A vintage He-Man we got a couple years ago. And yeah, he fits in really well. Uh, same size when he's in that pose, the same pose as He-Man. Uh, but when he stands straight up, um, of course he is going to be a little bit taller. Not much, but a little bit taller. And these two look really great together. And we bring in Battle Cat. And yeah, it still looks great. It looks like they could, I mean, not really part of the same toy line, but they look great displayed together. So let's bring them back out of the way. Of course, uh, Battle Cat and Man at Arms are a part of the same toy line, the new modern posing retro play toy line. And now we're gonna go ahead and open up the little package that his accessories came into. So as you saw, they came wrapped up in that piece of plastic. There's his gauntlet, arm piece, shoulder piece. Now, real quick, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. I'm gonna put these on and uh, show you guys. But uh, real quick before I do, these are made out of the same softer rubbery plastic as his chest piece. It's not the harder plastic that we got when we were kids. Just a soft rubbery plastic. Now, one thing I don't really like is the uh, leg armor. I wish they really would have made it to where you could put it on either leg uh, because I just feel it would look better if it were on the right leg rather than the left leg. Uh, he looks kind of lopsided with all his armor on the uh, left side and nothing on the right side. But that's just my personal opinion. Now, as you can see, his mace fits perfectly in his right hand. Uh, <clears throat> the armor just straps in. And it is two separate pieces on his left arm. And that's for the posing features. Uh, for articulation which we have not gone over yet, we'll go ahead and go over real quick. His head is on a ball joint, as you saw. You can pop it off, uh, switch heads. Uh, it would be nice if maybe at some point they uh, release some alternate heads. So maybe uh, we could display a younger Duncan if we wanted to, uh, or the older Duncan. So it turns all the way around. Uh, up, down, side to side, and then the arms go all the way around. They're also on kind of a ball joint, um, but it does really screw up the armor 
whenever you articulate this arm. Uh, it likes to move around a lot. Uh, wrist is on a hinge and peg. Uh, elbow, hinge, and peg. Uh, waist, swivel. The legs are both on ball pegs. And go back about that far, forward about that far, out to the side. It is a lot better than what we got back in the day. I think it was a rubber band back in the day, but I could be wrong. And then the legs, the knees, are on a ball hinge as well. Uh, a ball hinge slash peg as well and rotate all the way around um, and his boot can also rotate you got two separate rotations there and the ankle is on a rocker hinge so it can move side to side uh, up and down whatnot but anyway there you have it there is Duncan the man-at-arms and let's go ahead and there you go now he's in his got his face protected and yeah I'm really liking this figure uh, let's go ahead and bring in he-man and battle cat once again and yeah they they look good together um they're gonna be they're gonna display really nice together i have to say so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i've been shannon this has been comic Ed and tv the only place on youtube where all geek culture collides take care geeks if you enjoyed that video make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture also go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.